Hi, my name is Anika. I'm the pharmacist. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Dr. Jones from the medical center next door. In the midst of a rush, would like to get a, a prescription filled for a patient of ours. Okay. Why don't you have a seat in our private uh, counseling room? Everything we discuss is confidential. I know you're in a rush, mm -hmm. but, so I'll try and be as quick as possible. Um, now, how can I help you? Yeah, the prescription here for Mr. Thomas Fleming, uh, it, is, uh, it is amazing. Okay, so you'd like to prescribe a citromycin, mm -hmm. 250 milligrams. Uh, two tablets to be taken at once, and then one tablet every yes. day after. Okay, sure. So um, before I prepare that, I just want to ask you a few questions about our mutual patient. Um, we, I have his profile here. I just like yes. to update it with you. Okay. <clears throat> um, so I see he is 18 years old. Yes. And uh, he is allergic to penicillin. Yes. Uh, is that a true allergy? Yes, a true allergy. Stomach upset, rations, is severe. And the cefrodoxal as well, Both he has a true allergy to that too. Them, yeah. Okay, does, I see a schizophrenia. Does he have any other medical conditions? No, no other medical condition. And um, on his profile, <clears throat> I see he's taking Risperdal for the schizophrenia, four milligrams, one tablet once a day. And, um, and he's also taking Ativan when needed, when one milligram yes. sublingual. Mm -hmm. Is he taking any other uh, prescription medication? No, no other prescription medication. Okay. Would you know if he's taking any over-the-counter medications? No over-the-counter medication. <coughs> okay, and would you know if he's taking any vitamins? No vitamins. Or herbal that. remedies? No, no. Okay, and in terms of his lifestyle, would you know if he smokes? No smoking. Okay, yeah. does he drink alcohol? No drinking. Does he exercise? Does he have the time oh, to exercise? Oh, yes, occasionally. Okay, yeah. and uh, how about his caffeine intake? No caffeinated beverages. Okay. And I'll just take a look at my reference now in terms of his diet as well. Sorry, does he have a balanced diet? It's pretty balanced. Okay. For teenager, yes. Okay, so I'd just like to quickly check my reference and see if this is appropriate for him. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and you're using it for his uh, strep throat. Yes. Uh, strep throat. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much for waiting. Um, so, according to my reference, there's an interaction between the azithromycin, uh, newly prescribed azithromycin, and the medication the patient is currently taking, risperdone, okay. uh, the risper, um, the risperdal, sorry. And um, <clears throat> uh, what can happen is it can cause an increase in QT prolongation, okay. and it can lead to death. So for this reason, um, I would not recommend using azithromycin uh, to treat the strep throat. Instead, there is another agent that we can use. Would you okay. like to know about yes, that? Yes, because I use, I've been using azithromycin for years. I get a good results, so this is a uh, use for me. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. So just because of this uh, in interaction, I feel comfortable prescribing something else. Let me just check my reference. Okay. Okay, so because he's allergic to uh, penicillin and cephalosporin, like amoxicillin and uh, the, the cephalosporin, mm -hmm. I feel comfortable giving clindamycin. Okay. And I'd like to give clindamycin 300 milligrams, mm -hmm. three times a day for 10 days. Mm -hmm. um, would that be suitable for you? Yeah, sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, I'll follow up, I'll prepare that for the patient and I'll, I'll counsel him and follow up with him as well. Okay, so I've written a prescription for clindamycin. 500 milligrams, 300, 300, oh, 300 300 milligrams three times in for 10 days. Yes. So you can go ahead and I'll send the patient okay. over. Thank, you, thank so you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank Bye. You for coming in.
Hi, so I'd like to discuss with you the uh, case we just completed, which was the azithromycin doctor case, where the doctor prescribed azithromycin for the patient who was also taking Risperdal. And um, it's very important that when a patient has uh, a medic is taking a medication and the doctor wants to prescribe a new one, to always check for interactions. And if there is an interaction, you should be able to navigate how to deal with it. And in this case, uh, the patient is stable on the risperidone, and you wouldn't want to change that medication because they've been stable on it for many years. So instead, it's a good idea to just uh, change the newly prescribed antibiotic to something more suitable for them that will not cause an, an interaction, if possible. So in this case, the clindamycin was a suitable agent because it did not cause any QT prolongation. Um, it's very important that if you do see any QT prolongation interactions, to always try and negate it as much as possible and to um, uh, choose a different agent uh, immediately. Um, so with that, I will see you in the next case.